summer nights continue, so I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet in my uh, very, very hot second floor studio here in my house. How you doing, everybody? Uh, Tim, once again, View from the South Stands, coming to you on Thursday, the day after TFC's win in uh, uh, the inaugural game of the 2012-2013 CONCACAF Champions League game. Uh, the game itself, I don't really think we need to talk too much about. Uh, I've got some video, obviously, that you just saw. Uh, that uh, shows, of course, the mood uh, uh, in the stands last night. I'm going to get to the stands in a second as well. The game itself, uh, uh, I think uh, Aguila were probably uh, the worst team that Toronto FC has played in a competitive match that I've ever seen them play. Uh, they were brutally bad. I think part of that might have been uh, uh, thanks to missing a flight in uh, Miami, Florida that came from uh, El Salvador to Miami and Miami to Toronto. They were supposed to arrive in Toronto on Tuesday, they missed their flight. Inexplicably, they slept in the airport. I don't know why they didn't get a hotel. Maybe they couldn't afford it, I don't know. But they slept in the airport. They came to Toronto on Wednesday morning and got their butts handed to them, courtesy of Luis Silva with a goal and two helpers. Reggie Lamb with a brace. Terry Dunfield with a uh, wonderful goal, a boss performance in the midfield, and a, uh, uh, of course, another uh, very special Terry Dunfield goal celebration right in front uh, of section 113, Ryan Johnson, the Iron Man of Toronto FC, uh, popping in a goal as well. There's five goals, one against, and where are we? Thursday, top of group one on three points with a plus four goal difference. There you go. Couldn't do much better than that. A clean sheet would have been perfect, but I'm going to take a plus four goal differential for a team that didn't even put and didn't even need to put uh, uh, Eric Hasley on the field last night. If you saw, Eric Hasley was on the bench last night. He didn't make it into the uh, uh, into the starting eleven, but him making it uh, from injury into the starting eighteen uh, is a, a very optimistic sign, especially for the game, uh, which is going to be much more competitive on Saturday away in Chicago. So, not only was that game last night, I think a good confidence boost for uh, the team. Uh, it was a good confidence boost for the supporters as well at least the supporters that were there. And this is primarily what I really want to talk about tonight because I think this is the issue uh, that really popped up last night that needs to be addressed. And I'm sure that uh, uh, Toronto SC had some very uh, uh, sobering numbers to take a look at this morning when they walked into the office to do the post-mortem after the first Champions League game. The announced crowd, 5,324. Whether that was take a soul or whether that was people through the turnstiles, I can't tell. I can tell you that the South End, which usually has a capacity of about 3,000 fans, was relatively full. I had some elbow room. I could move. Uh, there were a few empty seats here and there, so maybe there might have been 2,500, 2,400 fans in there last night. Uh, the other stands, the second deck was sparse. The north deck, I think, was empty. Uh, the east, uh, uh, east and the bottom west stands were very sparse as well. I can also tell you from a friend who I work with in my day job, uh, who's also uh, a TFC a season seat holder. How you doing, Ken? Uh, he's going to Chicago, by the way, uh, on Saturday on a road trip, and I'll talk about Chicago in a moment. But he was in section 107 uh, last night at BMO Field, and he told me today at work that the, uh, tongue -tied, the majority of people that were around him uh, were fans from, uh, uh, or at least fans that were supporting uh, the side from El Salvador. So, and I'm being conservative here based on that. Let's say maybe a thousand fans were there not supporting Toronto FC last night. You're looking at maybe 4,300 fans that uh, decided to go and uh, uh, check out TFC last night. So, the question I want to ask and I want to have you guys post down below is is 4,300 odd fans the new? baseline? Is that the hardcore? Is that the, the, the depths to which the fan base of this team is actually sunk? Because there were not a lot of impediments uh, uh, in the way of people getting to that game last night. Unless you're uh, a fiend of the Olympics, which again, maybe a lot of people are, you had an 8 p.m. start, which means people can uh, get there at a reasonable time. You know, there's traffic, it's a busy city, there's uh, traffic snarls, there's trains, there's buses, there's subways, etc. But people could get there at a reasonable time. The seats were cheap ass seats. I paid fifteen dollars for uh, uh, fifteen dollars each for my pair that I bought, uh, and uh, the weather was absolutely beautiful. 
So I don't really see what specific impediments there were for people going to that game last night other than disinterest or uh, uh, disinterest, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, I don't know what to say uh, other than the fact that that was a real concern and I think it's uh, uh, probably shaken up a lot of the front office today realizing that unless things uh, uh, on a macro level start to turn around for this team over the long haul is 5,324 the new normal. I pray to God it isn't. Uh, but again, it's a question that I think is worthy of debate and I'd like to hear and, and, and read what you think. So there's a, a place below where you can comment and I'd be uh, uh, really happy to, uh, to read what you guys think about uh, uh, is this the new normal for Toronto FC. Well, speaking of normal, they're back uh, to the normal grind that is Major League Soccer on Saturday. Uh, the Reds actually flying to Chicago on Friday. Uh, to play the Chicago Fire in, uh, in Bridgeport, Illinois on Saturday evening. Uh, again, I got a friend, Ken, who's going to the game. I uh, wish you well. I hope you get to see a road win. Uh, road wins are rare and uh, special, and uh, I hope you get a chance to see one on Saturday night. I also hope that we get a chance to see, finally, Eric Hassley and what he can do uh, in TFC Red as well. He actually was on the bench Wednesday evening, did not play, uh, uh, but if he's on the bench, that means he's close and hopefully He's going to be able to factor in some way uh, in the game on Saturday. So that's it. I hope you folks have a wonderful week. Uh, enjoy your uh, long weekend here in Ontario. And uh, I'll talk to you on Sunday after uh, TFC's game on Saturday night in Chicago versus the Fire. Again, let me know below what you think about the attendance uh, at the game on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Your comments are always welcome and appreciated in this space. And we'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Hey,